looking at your tape. I'm so sorry about what happened with that girl. Oh, I know. No, but my friend Chris, he really wants to talk to you because I think he can help you with your little problem. All right. I mean, if that doesn't work, you know. <laughs> okay. You can go somewhere else. But really, he's a cute guy. Dude, you don't know what happened to me. I broke my shoes on nice the Nice dress, here. by the way. <laughs> mention that at some point, don't you think? I thought I'd, I'd wear it in honor of the fact that I always wear sort of see things when I come on. Yeah, last time you were on the show, we got so many calls <laughs> I know, and you letters. I stopping me on the street. They're like, geez, what's up? I saw you on Conan. Dude, your headlights are on, bruh. <laughs> anyway. They really, take a look at this. I think we have a photo uh, oh, from the last <laughs> appearance you were on the show. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a theme that you have going now. And I lost my shoes, too. Yeah. Okay, all right. What happened to your shoes? What do you mean you lost your shoes? Well, I'm on the way to the airport and to the, tonight, and I... And we're just a stop off on the way to the airport. Pretty okay. much, pretty cool. much. But no, I fell down the stairs, and I broke my heels, and they tried to fix them, but... Um, Who's they? Just random people in the streets of New York? <laughs> no, tried to your, fix them? your wardrobe people. Oh, my wardrobe people. Yeah. Oh, okay, and they couldn't get it uh, accomplished. Well, they, the glue, I didn't want to... Well, how have you been? Have you been okay? I mean, last time you were on the show, you're telling us that you were homeless at the time. You did not have a place to live. Have you found a place to live yet? Well, I'm, I'm living with my friends. My friend Chris Brenner, who's in the band with me. And, mm -hmm. and we've got a sort of commune apartment. We've got one bathroom and like eight people, plus boyfriends, girlfriends, and the whole... It sounds like uh, some kind of crazy free love hippie thing. Is it? Is that what you're... No, it's just a, sort of an institute for intellectual pursuits. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You, um, I don't know if people are aware of it. Well, they should be. What you write a lot of songs. I do. Right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you've been on the show. You've you've sung for us before. Now you're so busy. You're doing these movies. I mean, this film is a big movie. Where yeah. are you getting the time to write songs now? Well, I mean, I'm I'm always writing. I've always written all my life. You know, I mm -hmm. can take a guitar where you go. And... Mm -hmm. You just write. You know. Well, what's like? What have you been writing a song lately? <laughs> Yeah, I wrote this new song called Birds. It's about dead birds. It's a really happy song, though. Wait a minute. It's a happy song about dead birds? Yeah. I see oh, my brain on the clean window pane. I'm a dead bird. I'm a, I'm a shattered bird. Wait. <laughs> Real uplifting. <laughs> a happy song. A happy song about a bird no, that needs a windshield at 80 miles an hour. No, but the music is really up and... and oh, it's, the music is up, and then I mean, you listen to the words, it's when you get suicidally depressed. <laughs> kind of the yeah. idea there. It's not suicidal depression, it's mm -hmm. just letting out my emotions on paper. Really, really deep, deep thoughts. <laughs> I'm a model, I do have deep thoughts in there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> What is it you said, deep thoughts? Do they shoot out of the no, center of your my, head? That's you... my actor side coming out. I'm a very professional you do that, focused actor. Do you do that actor. a lot, that kind of thing? <laughs> yeah. You just kind of like emote? Yes, and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, now uh, let's talk about the, uh, the fifth element. Now, I've seen the photos of you in, uh, you know, the, I, haven't seen the actual, the movie? I haven't seen the movie yet. I don't get out of here. We work here all the time. I know. It was kind of insulting. Matthew Broderick is out here. He's like a big star. His movie, movie didn't come out yet. Poo-poo. <laughs> poo There are press screenings, you know. Poo-poo. <laughs> Those are for the press. Poo-poo. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? A busy guy here. Yeah, if I watch the, the movie, if I watch the movie, it's going to be a boring interview. I'm going to be out here going like, oh, yeah, I'm in the part where you uh, went in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I want to spoil it. <laughs> but then when you, I mean, that's not a fun interview. We talk about things that everyone who haven't seen the movie can relate to. And then they think, yeah, that was a fun now... interview. Now I want to see the movie. Right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's my mom. Come here. <laughs> no, it's out here. No, no, no. No? Not, not then. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, in the fifth element, I read somewhere that you studied for this part. Haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, that you studied for this part by studying animals at the what zoo. Are you doing behind my back? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what I do. I sit here. What did you think he was doing to you? I, know, I just looked at him and he was I doing would, I was using you 
are trying something I was, weird, Andy. I was doing this, you know, yeah. which is right before this and this, you know. What did you think he was doing back there? I was scratching my head. I got, you know. You thought he was making some creepy move? <laughs> Frank, no, Propo! I don't, no, I'm just no, sitting here. I thought okay. earlier it would happen. The, um... <laughs> the hell? I want a transcript of this interview when it's over. For a transcript, write to Burrell. Uh, you studied animals at the zoo to understand your character uh, for the fifth element. What do you mean you studied animals at the, at the zoo? What does that mean, actually? Well, because, I mean, there wasn't very many references that I could have for, for my character. Her name is Lulu. And, uh... She's, she's so insane that there's not really many humans to draw from. Well, none at all. So I went and studied animals. I studied um, birds. That's probably where you got that bird song, right? The, that's where you got the idea for that. Whoa, See? that is a laugh. That's what happened. No, no, actually, it's not what happened. My bird song is about being locked, being locked behind walls and trying to overcome your insecurities and fears to make your life work better for you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the, uh, well, people are saying very cool things about the movie. The director's a very cool guy. The yeah. director is... Luke Fisson. Yeah, people are saying that this is an amazing film. Okay. It's the fifth element. It's at theaters right now. I'm seeing it this weekend, I swear to oh, God. Oh, right. I am. I get, I'm sprung this weekend. I can go out and see the movie. What's and then this? you can come back and we'll talk about it frame by frame. What do you say? <laughs> Sound good to you? It really does. It's a date. Thanks a lot Great. for coming back, Mila. Thank you for being here. Mila Jovovich, everybody. Stick around, because Jimmy Vivino, our own son from Italy, has made good. He's going to perform for us. It now